Hello and welcome to Nowhere. My name is Trish and I am the creator behind Nowhere Novelties. Most glitter companies are not just glitter companies. Peachy Olive Glitters is a company that I have purchased from in the past and they actually sell a wider range of different products from glitter and vinyl. I've been a follower of Jessica Flynn's for a long time now and for a while she was an affiliate for Peachy Olive. In her Facebook group, a creator put together a beautiful V-Split tumbler, rose gold, of course, um, but I wanted to recreate it. It's using vinyl and glitter from POG. I thought this cup was stunning, so I put my spin on it and I'm ready to show you guys the combination of glitter and vinyl. So if you're ready, let's strap in and shoot for the stars. Starting off with a 20 ounce skinny straight from Maker Flow Crafts. This here is the vinyl that we're going to be using from Peachy Olive. For my base paints, I'm using Ecru and Blush from Pop of Color. I'll be pairing those base paints with Chantilly and Barely There, both of course from POG. The very first step is to prep the vinyl for the V-split. So I am matching corners on both edges to get some quarters or small triangles or V's and determining which section I like um, that will actually be the vinyl section on this tumbler. Once the section is cut out, I will get it lined up on my tumbler along the top rim. I like to peel back one corner of the backing paper, uh, kind of like an anchor, and then get that vinyl situated on the cup, lay the corner down again to anchor it, and then I can push off the backing paper like a full vinyl wrap. I know you guys are probably so sick of seeing V-splits on my channel, but I will admit that they are a very popular design for ready to ship tumblers because they're very elegant, they're kind of universal, you don't have to like worry about putting a decal on it. People like the combination of like a printed vinyl on top with pretty glitter on the bottom. Anyway, once your vinyl backing is off, you can trim off your little excess corner piece right here and you're ready to start base painting. So to create our two different base paint sections, I'm going to take masking tape that's about an inch thick and line the printed vinyl um, in both directions. I'm going to cut the masking tape for this section right along that printed vinyl. I don't want any overlap because we will be adding tape over the printed vinyl to protect it for when we actually paint this particular stripe section. Remove the excess at the bottom point as well, because again, this tape is literally only for the, um, the cream colored stripe that we'll be adding. Next, I'm gonna take some two inch uh, masking tape and cover up the printed vinyl because that is going to protect it for when we do the cream colored stripe. If you were using spray paint as opposed to the pop of color, I would cover the entire section of the um, printed vinyl, but because I'm gonna be kind of hand painting uh, the base paint on, I'm not worried about getting messy and getting any paint on the, paint, the printed vinyl. I am going to be applying the pop of color paints with a makeup brush from Dollar Tree. This is blush, this is going on first. The blush does get nice coverage even with just a single coat. Um, so I'm going to go right in on the wet paint and apply our glitter. I am gonna be using the same color on the bottom so it's nice and seamless. So don't forget your bottom. Then I'm gonna go in with my first glitter color which is barely there. This is a champagne slash translucent glitter. It's so pretty. 
over a blush base. Just look at the soft pink sparkle that comes through. And before your paint dries, peel your tape. You don't want the paint to dry as it may cause lifting when you go to peel the tape. The next color is Ecru. This is a um, like off white, like a cream. Um, it does need two coats. It's uh, pretty light, even with a nice soft makeup brush. It does not go on um, heavy enough to go right in with glitter. So I did apply one coat, waited for that to dry. I think I used a heat gun to try to get it to dry a little bit faster because I'm impatient. Um, and then went in with a second coat. One thing I want to mention with V splits is that if you are hand painting your base colors, it's okay if your lines aren't completely straight or if you have a little bit of like spillage um, or overlap in your color, like you can see down at the point of this V um, that you are covering your sections with pinstriping so you can cover any mistakes that way. So the glitter color I just added is Chantilly. It is also translucent. It has a very soft off-white coloring to it. And on the cream base, it gives it like a beautiful ivory tone. I'll pull my tape right away again. Wait for the paint and everything to dry a little bit. I did spray paint this with um, just clear spray paint prior to epoxying until it's smooth. Next step is pinstripes. So I have a few strips of like Cricut gold vinyl, plain Jane gold vinyl. It's not textured or anything because I feel like I have done that like twice <laughs> already with um, rose gold V split. So I wanted a deeper gold. I feel like it matched kind of the more neutral tones of the uh, printed vinyl a little bit better than the textured vinyl. I'm starting out with lining the cream stripe of the V, but I don't know if you guys are counting how many stripes I have cut, but I actually have six. And that's because I wanted a offset stripe. So once I get these on, you'll see me move on and create like a layered look, which I think is really pretty. I am eyeballing this because I'm an eyeball queen. I don't measure anything. I'm a rebel. So basically, I'm just going to move the next lines down into the soft pink section about a quarter inch and line the cup in the same manner, just parallel to the existing section pinstripe. I think this effect is very visually pleasing to the eye. Um, it kind of gives it like a very glamorous look if you ask me. Of course, once your stripes are on, um, cut off your tails so that you have nice points both at the top and bottom of the section. So to really make a statement, we're going to add dark blue, very, very thin, pinstriping as well. I wanted to tie in the darker blue flowers uh, on the printed vinyl, so I decided to take this super thin nail tape and do a center line down the gold pinstripe with the dark blue pinstripe. So you're going to do that on the pinstripe lining the cream section, but not the bottom gold striping that's within the pink section. And the reason for that is because I'm going to kind of create that same offset like we did with the gold stripe within the pink section with the blue pin stripe. I'm going to add just a thin line of the blue within the section that has the printed vinyl. The end result is just stunning. You need two final coats of epoxy over these pinstripes, and she's done. Don't forget to check out Peachy Olive Glitters for all of their awesome products. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. See you guys soon. Bye-bye now.